Tonight, recreational marijuana is now legal in Ohio after voters statewide passed issue two just last month. Thanks for joining us at five. I'm Megan O'Rourke and I'm Rob Williams. Despite the legality change, there are still restrictions. Yeah, we have live team coverage for you tonight. Mike Shell is live at a dispensary and Candace Harris here in studio after taking a trip to Michigan earlier this week. Mike, we want to start with you. Yeah, the bill that is now before House Representatives in Columbus would limit the amount of marijuana possession to two and a half ounces and 15 grams of extracts or edibles. But until dispensaries like the landing here in Norwood could legally sell it, lawmakers in Columbus must figure out how to regulate it. When the state Senate passed House Bill 86 late last night, Governor Mike DeWine urged House Representatives to do the same. This is not a, a bill that is uh, it has everything in it that I want. It has some things that I might not want. Obviously, the Senate has pushed something through very quickly, where the House is, reser is reserved to say, wait a minute, let's slow down. State Rep Cecil Thomas says it needs to start with the taxes, in his words, to make the recreational marijuana industry in Ohio competitive. We could tax ourselves out of the market. We are, and we already know that folks are lined up with Ohio plates in Michigan. So if we uh, put a tax on it that, that uh, for the businesses that will uh, be way above what Michigan is saying, people are still going to go to Michigan. Governor DeWine says he wants to make sure the marijuana sold in Ohio is safe and that it protects people who don't want to be exposed to smoke. He wants home grows reduced to six plants per person and 12 per household. He wants a requirement of child safe packaging and ban ads targeting children. Dispensaries like the landing would apply for a license to sell recreational marijuana, and we could see it sold in other places as well. You know, the, a liquor store, a state -like regulated liquor store that you would go pick up, uh, you know, a bottle of alcohol. It's kind of a similar thing uh, to that and how this would work. So it, it won't be, you know, any convenience store, any corner store, any gas station. These are going to be tightly regulated shops that have cameras, that have compliance apparatus all over them. Cecil Thomas says there are still too many concerns to just sign off on a bill that would have such a drastic impact. We're not going to pass anything. Uh, we, we're not just going to accept the Senate's version and all of that. We're going to slowly work through this, and it's going to be a while. It's not going to happen uh, tomorrow or the next day, anything like this. It's just not going to happen. And House representatives continue to hold hearings in Columbus. I asked Cecil Thomas if he had any kind of timeline when he thought that a vote uh, might be possible. He says it probably won't happen until next fall in his estimation. Of course, any changes that the House makes, it would have to go back to the Senate, debate it and vote it all. Meanwhile, Governor Mike DeWine said it would be a quote disaster if uh, to let this new law linger because it would give the black market a chance to thrive. Reporting live in Norwood, Mike Shell, Fox 19 now. Mike, thank you.